table and you can actually turn your, your healthful essential fatty acids, your healthful good fats into bad fats, into toxic fats. Most folks have heard of trans fats. The trans fats are, tend to be hydrogenated, but excessive amounts of heat can also excessive amount of heat can also convert fats into carcinogenic or pro-aging compounds. It comes to trans fats, you know, we kind of you don't hear too much anymore about trans fats. In the coming, uh, in the next few, maybe the next year or so, you're going to start to hear about trans fats in skincare products. There's actually a big paper that's going to be released at the Society for Cosmetic Chemists meeting this, uh, I think it's next week actually in New York City. And it's going to be on trans fats in skincare. More and more literature is indicating that processed oils, hydrogenated oils, heated oils in skincare products may actually penetrate through the skin. They may actually get into the blood. You may actually be increasing your uh, blood toxicity via application of standard skincare products. This is, you know, I didn't know this exactly, but I always knew that heated oils were not a good thing for your skin. I always knew oils in general weren't a good thing for your skin. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be heated oils because when a skincare company buys oils from an oil company, they're buying non-food grade oils. They're buying a degraded oil. So even before it's processed in the skincare product, the oil's already rancid. It's already oxidized. Once it's heated, if it's hydrogenated, if you see the word hydrogenated in your, in your, uh, uh, on your ingredient deck, remember you want to be an ingredient deck reader, you probably want to stay away from these things. There's no need for oil in a skincare product. People say, oh, I love the way it feels. I love the way that product feels. That's just oil you're putting on your skin. If you really, really like the way your skincare product feels, go get yourself a healthy oil, keep it in the fridge, and put it right on your skin, coconut oil. You're not going to do much for your skin, but if you like that feel, you like the sensation of it, get your own oil. Make sure it's fresh. As I say, just common sense will tell you that heated oils, processed oils, rancid oils, oxidized oils are not a good idea to put on your skin, but now more and more literature is talking about how oils that you put on your skin in a skincare product can actually make it into your blood. As soon as I get a copy of this paper, I'll, I'll be talking about it, you can be sure. So green leafy vegetables are a good source uh, of, uh, of omega-3 fatty acids. Mix good oil with your greens. I've always said this. You always want to mix a good quality oil with your greens in your salad. Now, some folks will stay away, and, and you know, I, I'm not going to debate that point. Some folks want to stay away from vegetable oils. That's fine. Olive oil and macadamia nut oil, etc. I think there's some value to it. But if you want to stay away from it, at least use butter or coconut oil, which tend to be more stable. You will pull out the fatty substances, including the omega-3s out of your green leafy vegetables. This is one of the reason, reasons why the Mediterranean diet has been so helpful. It's because it combines oils with vegetables. And the combination of oils and vegetables can be very, very helpful. Make sure your oils are fresh. Make sure your oils are stored in a cold, dark place. You don't ever want to heat your oils and you don't want them old or rancid. And as I say, coconut oil and butter that tend to be more stable. Another great source of omega-3s is eggs. Yes, eggs. Raw eggs will always give you the most nutritional bang for your buck. The less you heat your egg, the better. If you're going to process your egg or heat your egg, make sure you're poaching or soft boiling. And then I want to talk about this really cool omega-6 fat that's anti-inflammatory. We'll do that when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang tight if you're on hold, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here in just a couple of seconds. I want to say a couple of things. Let's see here. Uh, GLA. I want to talk about GLA, gamma linolenic acid. We talked a little bit about it yesterday. Gamma linolenic acid is the anti-inflammatory omega-6. That's why it's hard to make these kind of distinctions. They're sort of simplistic distinctions. Oh, omega-3s are pro-inflammatory. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory because it's kind of a mixed bag. And GLA exemplifies this. GLA is not, you're not going to find GLA in a lot of foods. Uh, barrage oil is probably the best source of omega of a GLA, and then also evening primrose is good. Black currant oil, mother's milk, breast milk is a wonderful source of GLA. Nature has seen fit to put GLA in in breast milk. If you're not breastfeeding, chances are you're not getting GLA because it's unlikely it's going to be. Uh, if you're not, your baby's not getting GLA because it's probably not going to be in the formula because people don't know a lot about GLA. 
But boy, is that stuff amazing. And I'm telling you this as a skincare professional, I have observed the most dramatic, incredible effects from topically applied GLA for eczema and for psoriasis. I'm not telling you it's a cure, but I'm just telling you what I've observed with my own eyes. It's wonderfully anti-inflammatory. Now, your body can make it. It's, hard, it's not made synthetically, by the way, so you're not going to find it artificially. It's always going to be in, in evening primrose oil or barrage oil, usually evening primrose oil. So when you buy... Your GLA capsules, it comes in 300, 500, 1,000 milligram capsules. What you're getting is EPO, evening primrose oil. So you might as well just get the straight evening primrose oil and save your money. Evening primrose oil, again, is a nutritional oil that you'll have to buy as a nutritional oil. Udo's Blend. Uh, Udo's Blend has evening primrose in it, I'm pretty sure, although he may use Barrage, but he does use GLA. You'll get GLA in your Ultimate EFAs and your Ultimate EFA Plus. In fact, the EFA Plus has got quite a bit more GLA. But you do need a lot of GLA. So you probably, if you've got eczema or psoriasis or PMS, premenstrual syndrome, if you have a, a problem periods, GLA can be helpful there as well. Uh, again, you're going to want to supplement with it in terms of uh, just buying a thousand milligram a day, a thousand milligram capsule, and, and taking one a day. Hemp seed oil's got some GLA in it, although nowhere near as much as Barrage or black currant. Uh, algae, spirulina, those will also, sea vegetables in general, seaweed in general will also have some GLA in it. One of the best ways to jack up your omega-3 production to improve the balance of omega-3s to omega-6s uh, is to use a supplement that most of you guys have heard of, but nobody's ever talked about it as it relates to fats. And I'm talking about melatonin. Yes, it turns out that melatonin, via this, its ability to help the body process fats, actually has some really interesting skin health benefits. Melatonin, the stuff we take to go to sleep, actually helps in the production of uh, or improving the balance of omega-3s to omega-6s. And there's also a relationship between eicosanoids and melatonin. I love melatonin, man. That's one of those supplements that cost you ridiculously cheap, five bucks for a month's supply or even two months' supply, and it's got so many wonderful benefits. We'll talk about melatonin and essential fatty acids as we continue talking icosanoids and EFAs on our next Brightside episode. Time to the phones, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to, let's go to Mary in Michigan. Welcome to the Bright Side. Mary, what's going on? Well, I'm calling about my husband, uh, my dear sweet husband. He's going through a lot this year. Um, he developed cellulitis on his shin after scraping it on a concrete block. Oh, my goodness. How old is he, your husband, by the way? Uh, he, he will be 70 this year. Okay. So cellulitis, for the listeners, is a bacterial infection that, that happens after you scrape yourself or cut yourself. It's a kind of, uh, you know, there's always going to be bacteria everywhere. Bacteria on our skin, bacteria in the environment, and usually when you cut yourself, that doesn't happen, or scrape yourself, that doesn't happen. However, in some people, it will. You'll get this kind of infection, cellulitis infection. It's a sign that the body's immune system is stressed out. It's burnt out. It doesn't happen ordinarily. If you are getting uh, cellulitis, there's a couple things you want to do. First of all, in the immediate sense, you're going to want to put iodine on there or maybe colloidal silver or some kind of antiseptic agent, right? They probably, yeah. You're probably doing that already. Well, okay, so yeah. that's Okay, that's just to kill the bacteria. But more, more critically, if he's 70 years old and he's got cellulitis, he's running higher risks for other health challenges. And you want to you treat this as a red flag, as a yeah. warning that there's more stuff right. to come. Okay, right. good. That, that's kind of what I'm doing. Good for you. Smart. You're, you're thinking, <laughs> you're thinking ahead. That's good, I'm Mary. Okay, okay, so first of all, as always, the, where is the main source of the, immune, uh, of the immune system, the headquarters for the immune system? Your digestion. You got it, baby. So that's what you want to do first and foremost. That means probiotics, good bacteria. In fact, probiotics can be helpful for the cellulitis. Good bacteria help protect against bad bacteria. Good bacteria okay. in the gut fight strep and fight staph. Those are usually the bacteria that are involved with cellulitis. Right. So making sure that you're using lots of fermented food and you're on your bioluminightly essence and using fiber and also uh, apple cider vinegar. It's not just the probiotics. It's the environment the probiotics are living in. And that's why fiber is so important. Make yourself vegetable juices. Celery juice in particular can be helpful. Beets, although they, they're a little bit sweet. Anything you could think of that's got lots of fiber, juice it up. 
and uh, that'll help pre prepare the environment and the intestine for the bacteria to follow. Then you take your nightly essence, maybe 30 billion units a day, something like that. And then if you want to make your own fermented foods, that will help also. Mm -hmm. They're easy to make, fermented vegetables, that kind of thing. All the digestive stuff we always talk about, you might want to throw right. in some of the some of the Fucoid Z or the Z radical. That's got immune boosting properties and it'll help okay. with the digestive system. Uh, of course, the ultimate enzymes, that's going to help him, him process his foods. Right, right. And also, you may want to even consider uh, ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach. Proteolytic, protein dissolving enzymes can have some antimicrobial properties. Okay. Vitamin C is tremendously important for the immune system. I'd be doing high doses of vitamin C. Right, in addition to the, you are already good. In okay. addition to the healthy start pack. Topically, you might want to uh, use zinc oxide topically to accelerate healing. Colloidal oatmeal, you can go buy colloidal oatmeal at the health food store and make your own little colloidal oatmeal mask. You can put that on well, top of the top of the skin. Gelatin. Gelatin also on top of the skin. Yes, I'm sorry. Gelatin? Gelatin on top of the skin can be healing. Okay, well, well, uh, th this happened, oh, I guess about a month ago, and um, I didn't get worried until, it's, until it got some blisters on it, and then I started using a clay poultice. That's nice. And, That's a good and, idea. And, and that seemed to be working, pulling that out, but then I think he got an irritation from the saran wrap that I was wrapping his leg with. <laughs> so... Um, Anyway, the the he went to he he finally went to a uh, a doctor um, a week ago, and she said there was no cellulitis; that it was just irritation from having his leg uh, with this uh, poultice on it every night. I don't think that caused huh. this, but uh, anyway, so, so he, she so said, "Stop healing now? doing." Is he uh, healing now? Is he in the process of yeah, healing? Oh yeah, now? he's healing. He's healing, but he's itching so bad. Colloidal oatmeal. That'll help him with the itching. Zinc oxide will also... I don't understand also... colloidal oatmeal. Go to the health food store and just get some colloidal oatmeal and make oatmeal. And instead of eating it, put it right on his skin. Or you can have oatmeal well, isn't baths. That just, isn't that just plain oatmeal? I mean, I've got oatmeal. Yeah. Uh, colloidal's <laughs> ground up. Par the particles are ground up. Oh, Regular, oh, okay. So you rele the, some of the nutrients are released that way. Aloe vera right on there will help too. Well, one of the things that I'm having him use, which seems to give him the most uh, most relief, is uh, calendula oil with oregano and turmeric in it. Turmeric, yeah, turmeric. Tumor, I think you meant turmeric. That'll help, oh, too. It's yeah. an oil, so it's tumor oil. But anyway. Oh, okay. Tumor oil. I see what you're saying. Yes, uh, but the, the curcumins and the curcumin in the turmeric, or is it the turmeric and the curcumin? The curcuminoids in the turmeric will help, no matter what the form is. Hey, Mary, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it. And then uh, I forgot to mention blood sugar. Okay, we are back on the bright side from the journal... Public Library of Science researchers have discovered that a component of aspirin can play a major role in improving neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's. Well, guess what? More eicosanoid activity. It turns out salicylic acid, which has been used in skincare for many years, I used to make, I still make. Uh, uh, for myself, uh, salicylic acid, uh, salicylic, salicylic acid skin peels. Salicylic acid's got some wonderful anti-aging effects. If you have an esthetician, they call them beta peels, and they can be very, very effective for dealing with acne topically. And internally, it turns out that salicylic acid, which is a derivative of aspirin, actually blocks cell death. Associated with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and Huntington's, salicylic acid is found in veggies. If you want to, uh, there's no real way to get salicylic acid other than aspirin in terms of uh, nutrient, but you can eat salicylic acid in vegetables. And now you know that salicylic acid works, of course, by eicosanoids, by modulating eicosanoids, increasing, improving the production of eicosanoids. Okay, 844-236-6010, Truth Raider, what's going on, man? How you doing, Carl? Ladies and gentlemen, surviving the holidays, well... Having constipation issues? Well, I have some great tips. This is Truth yes. Raiders the Tips Edition today. Okay. Uh, if you're having difficulty and having the cramps, simple thing you can do without having to take any kind of medications or any type of liquids or doing anything great, you just sit down and pound, take two fists, gently pound your knees and draw back. Do this for 30, 30 seconds to a minute. And it, you, it will ease your system. Your, your system will react. 
With, say that again. You lean back and you pound your knees with your fists? When, when you're sitting down, you're having cramps and you have to go, you get constipation issues. Okay. Take so, both fists, pound the knees, and draw back. Interesting. Oh, okay. For about 30 seconds to a minute. My mom taught me this years and years ago. If you have Thank constipation you. or cramps, that seems to ease it. But it takes about a minute to two a minutes. pounding. A minute of pounding. Yeah, not too hard, but just take and just firmly okay. pound the... Pound right. up the knees and draw up the thighs with, 